my name's Sarah. I'm one of the children and young people's diabetes nurses here at the Leeds Children's Hospital. And I'm talking to you this morning about blood glucose check-in. We call them blood glucose checks because when with diabetes, the only way that we know what's happening inside the body is to do a blood glucose check. We don't count them as good or bad numbers. Um, but each time you check your blood glucose, it gives us all the information that we need to make an accurate decision in regards to managing your diabetes. First, I am going to demonstrate the kit to you and then I will do a demonstration blood glucose check. For this, I am using the AccuCheck Expert Meter and I am using their FastClicks Lancet. The FastClicks Lancet has six different needles inside. This number here on the front screen is how many needles are left inside that barrel. The number here on the bottom is the depth that the needle goes in. Somebody little would need a lot less than a fully grown adult and the way to alter the depth of the needle is to twist around the bottom. To change the barrel, simply take the end off, remove the barrel and prepare a new one. You will notice the difference between the new barrel and the old one in its length but also the old one has a pink strip across the bottom and it's physically impossible for the old barrel to fit back into the pen. Once the new barrel is inside, simply place the cap back on. Okay. This number will automatically go back up to six and then you're ready to go. There is a hole at the bottom and that is where your needle comes out from. And to move your needle across, simply move this white part across and back again and you will see that the needle will go down. Once you have used your last needle, it is physically impossible to move this white part across and that's your indication that it's time to change the barrel. With your meter, press your on button, check that your strips are in date, Your strips will have a microchip end and a straw end. Insert the microchip end into the bottom of the meter and you're ready to go. First and foremost, before checking a blood glucose level, it's really important to wash and dry your hands. For this, I'm using a hand wipe. Um, if you are using hand wipes at home, please make sure that they don't contain any alcohol as the alcohol wipes can affect a blood glucose reading. You can also use soap and water. Once your hands are fully clean, again give them time to dry. The reason that we ask you to do this is because if you've touched anything before a check, it can leave remnants on your fingers, which could give us a false reading. Also, if you're checking wet hands, it can give us a false low reading by diluting it. So it's very important that your hands are clean and dry. We try not to use the um, thumb and forefinger, so these three fingers on both hands, and we try and use the sides of the fingers. We always avoid the pads and the tips because that's where the nerve endings are and it will be painful. With your finger pricker, line the hole up with the side of the finger and press. You should then have a small drop of blood at the end of your finger. Wipe this away. Again, this is so that we've eliminated any possibility of there being anything extra on that finger. Take your blood glucose meter and touch the straw to your blood and a reading will appear on your screen. We now have a number and we have a decision to make about what to do next. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you found this very helpful. Mm -hmm.